CNN stands for Convolutional Neural Network and WIT stands for Vision Transformer. Both CNN and WIT are popular architectures used in computer vision tasks, but they have distinct differences in terms of their design and operation. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between CNN and WIT in as simple language as possible, and also why sometimes using WIT instead of CNN is preferred. As you can see on your screen, I have this table which illustrates the difference between both CNN and WIT. The first difference point is architecture. The CNN are composed of multiple layers, typically including convolutional layer, pooling layer, and fully connected layers. They leverage local receptive fields and weight sharing to capture spatial hierarchies and images. WITs are based on transformer architecture, which was originally designed for natural language processing tasks. WITs uses self-attention mechanism and positional embedding to process images in a sequence-like manner. Second point is input representation. CNNs directly process images as input, typically as grids of pixels organized in multiple channels, for example, RGB images with three channels. WIT require input images to be flattened and represented as sequences of patches. Each patch is then embedded and treated as a token. Then we have local versus global information. In the CNNs, it is naturally exploit local spatial relationships by using convolutional filters with shared weights. This allows these models to capture local features and spatial hierarchies. Whereas in the WIT, the WIT process Im processes images in a global manner by applying self-attention across all tokens and patches. This enables them to capture long-range dependencies and global context. Then we have parameter efficiency. CNNs are known for their parameter efficiency due to weight sharing and local receptive fields. They can learn hierarchical features with fewer parameters, making them more suitable for smaller data sets. WITs typically require a large number of parameters to capture global information effectively. This makes them more parameter heavy compared to CNNs, potentially requiring larger data sets for training. Then we have the training data size. CNNs perform well on smaller data sets as they can learn local parameters or pa and pattern efficiently. They are widely used in computer vision tasks, even with limited amounts of data. WITs often require large amounts of training data to generalize well due to their reliance on global context. They tend to excel when trained on large data sets. So these are a few of the salient differences between both CNNs and WITs. I hope that this was interesting to you. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. Thanks for listening.